The Noongar people, who lived around what is now Perth, were quite happy with their lot. They had their own laws and customs, and lived in an area which was teeming with food. Not white man's food, but good healthy bush tucker. White settlers came in 1829. At first the Noongar thought they were Janga, ancestors from the spirit world. But they kept coming and coming, and they didn't know the laws. They brought strange animals and plants, and thought they could fence off whole areas of land and not let the Noongar onto it. Who did these people think they were? What were they doing here? How long were they going to stay? One man who wanted answers to these questions was Yagan, son of Midjuguru, and a leader among his people. He was a tall, handsome, athletic man. He impressed the white settlers with his skills, and on one occasion won great admiration when he helped to put out a fire in a burning cottage. But there was always a fear, just below the surface, that Yagan could use his skills against the white man. Yagan and his people thought it only fair that since the white man had taken their land, then they could help themselves to their strange animals and birds. The Noongar called it sharing. The white man called it theft. And took it on themselves to punish any native who stole from them. But Noongar law said that if one of their own was killed, they could kill the man who did it. Or if he couldn't be found, then some other from his group. White men had no understanding of these laws. And when they were captured, Noongar had no understanding of white man's laws. When Yagan's brother was killed, it started another round of Noongar payback. Yagan's father, Mijiguru, was captured and after a brief trial was summarily executed. Yagan had heard that his father had been captured but when he met a group of previously friendly white men, he didn't yet know of his father's fate. He feared the worst, however, and promised the white men that if his father had been killed, three of them would die. Yagan now became a wanted man. The price put on his head was 30 pounds. That was enough for several white men, police, soldiers and settlers, to be on the lookout for him. It was an 18-year-old boy who shot Yagan in the back in an attempt to claim the reward. Within minutes of doing the deed, he too was dead, killed by Yagan's companions who were nearby. Yagan's body was treated most disrespectfully by soldiers who shortly arrived on the scene. Yagan's skull was on display in the Liverpool Museum in England for many years, before being removed and buried. It was finally rediscovered and returned to the Noongar people in 1996. There's more information about Yagan in Alex Kopp's excellent biography.